Have you ever stopped to ponder the differences between plants and animals? It's a question that opens up a world of exploration, inviting us to delve into the rich tapestry of life that surrounds us. Our planet is teeming with a diverse array of plants and animals, each with their unique characteristics and ways of life. From the smallest seed to the largest mammal, each plays a critical role in the ecological balance of our world. Let's dive into the world of plants first, shall we? Plants, incredibly diverse and vital for life on Earth, are quite distinct from animals. Let's dive into this green world to understand more. The diversity among plants is truly astounding. Based on their nature, we can categorize them into trees, shrubs and creepers. Each has its unique characteristics, but they all share the common trait of being stationary, rooted firmly to the ground. Morphological features offer another layer of diversity, from the roots, stems and leaves, to the flowers, fruits and seeds. Each part of a plant can vary widely in shape, size and color. Imagine the vast difference between a tiny clover leaf and a giant palm frond, or between a minuscule apple seed and a large coconut. And let's not forget about habitats. Plants can thrive in a multitude of environments, from terrestrial to aquatic, and from coastal regions to mangrove swamps. So, that's a quick exploration of plants. Now, let's shift our attention to animals. Animals, just like plants, present a vast diversity, each uniquely adapted to their environment. The way an animal moves, whether it walks, swims, flies or creeps, is one of the ways we can distinguish between different species. The habitats they inhabit, be it land, water or air, further add to this diversity. Even their external characteristics like their color, shape and appendages provide a kaleidoscope of variety, but it doesn't stop there. Animals also differ in how they eat. Some chew and swallow, others swallow without chewing, and some even suck their food. And what about their diets? Animals can be carnivores, feasting on other animals, herbivores, who prefer a plant-based menu, or omnivores, who are not picky eaters at all. As we see, animals are as diverse as plants, but in different ways. Now let's compare them side by side. Though plants and animals both form part of nature's tapestry, they are fundamentally different. Let's delve into some of their key characteristics to understand these differences better. Plants, unlike animals, are rooted to the ground. They don't show locomotion, but they certainly aren't immobile. They exhibit movements, like the way sunflowers turn their heads to follow the sun across the sky. On the other hand, animals are the globetrotters of the natural world, capable of walking, swimming, flying and even creeping. They're not tied to one spot like plants. Another major difference lies in how they get their food. Plants are the self-sufficient beings of nature. They produce their own food through a process called photosynthesis, making them autotrophic. In contrast, animals are dependent on other organisms for their food, classifying them as heterotrophic. Now, let's talk about color. Plants have a special pigment called chlorophyll, which gives them their green color and assists in photosynthesis. Animals, however, lack this pigment. Lastly, let's look at growth. In plants, growth is visible throughout their entire lifespan, meaning they continue to grow as long as they live. Animals, though, have a certain period after which visible growth stops. So those are some of the key differences that set plants and animals apart. But remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. So, what have we learned today? We've embarked on a fascinating journey, exploring the vast diversity of life on our planet, from the green expanses of plants to the varied world of animals. We've discovered how plants, with their roots, stems, leaves and flowers, come in diverse forms like trees, shrubs and creepers, thriving in environments ranging from terrestrial to aquatic, coastal and mangrove. We've also ventured into the realm of animals, observing the plethora of ways they move, live, feed and differ in their external characteristics. We've seen how animals, unlike plants, show locomotion and depend on other organisms for food, showcasing a dynamic interdependence within our ecosystem. We've compared these two kingdoms of life, noting how plants are autotrophic, creating their own food through photosynthesis, 
and how animals are heterotrophic, relying on others for sustenance. In understanding these differences, we gain a deeper appreciation for the diversity and complexity of life on Earth. Until next time, keep exploring.